Hello, everybody, and welcome. Yes, you did read the title correctly. I am releasing my own mod. I know, it took forever. I meant to do this like four years ago. But I kept running into problems and whatnot, but now we're here. We are, I've actually completed the mod, and it's obviously in the description so you can go download it. But, making this short little video just so I can tell you about some of the kind of weird things with mod, so you can be prepared for whatever happens. But, it's essentially in the same style as a caster's mod, in that I was restricted to the same things that caster could do. Because, well, obviously, Pin's the only one with the editing tools. So, I was restricted to only using the same tools that Pin, not Pin, Caster had available when he made his mod. So, with that, first of all, and the most unfortunate thing I gotta point out here is... If I can get nothing. There we go. Yeah, it does, it currently only works on EPSXE. And I'm not sure why. If you if you know how to get like Casper's mod working on uh, Duck Station, it should it should be able to do it that same way for my mod. So if you know how to do that, please leave a comment below describing how to do that, and I will pin it so everybody can read it. But as far as I know right now, it only works on EPSXE. I know, very unfortunate because everybody kind of dislikes EPSXE recently. Can't blame them though. And uh, well. Still not much else to say, maybe it's just like Cass's mod, so I'm just going to the same points he had, but uh, second point is, if it was a grunt in the base game, it's a grunt here. Not much to say on that one. You can't modify grunts with the, without the editing tool, which we don't have. So, if it was a grunt in the base campaign, it's a grunt in my campaign. Because, can't change them. It's annoying. Trust me, I wish I could change them, but I didn't want to do a mod for the PC version. <laughs> I might do that someday, but not today. And final point. Yeah. Mission 3 and 8 are unmodified. Now, reason for this is because the copyright protections or something prevents you from changing anything on mission, especially mission 8. Mission 3, you can kind of get away with some things, but it really doesn't like it when you modify anything on mission 3. So therefore, mission 3 and 8 unmodified. Every other mission has at least one modification made to it. Now, I'm not obviously not going to tell you what modifications I made to them, because, well, then you would know, and that's kind of cheating. I'm not going to give any, uh, freaking spoilers to the game, because, well, I don't want to tell you any spoilers. But, like I said earlier, it's down in the description to download it, and there will also be a readme file, so you, if you decide not to watch the video, there'll be little things in there, too, that you can read about the same things here, essentially. But, I... I really, even though it's this, even though I had to use the same tools as Caster to make this mod, so it's gonna feel similar to Caster's mod. I'm not gonna lie, but I hope I was still able to make it unique enough for, and an enjoyable experience for everybody in the community. And if you don't like it, oh well, that's your fault. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Now, why did? Now, there ain't no particular reason why I did this. It's not because the whole meetup. I just decided I wanted to give something to the community as well. And, well, I didn't know what else to do because I'm not very good at editing videos. That, that's a guaranteed here. This is the best editing you'll see from me. <laughs> but I still hope you guys find some enjoyment in this. And I still got two minutes to talk. I forgot how long this video I made was. <laughs> and if you notice, some missions are kind of lacking in uh, modifications. It's mostly because it's a lot of times trying to mod certain things. Like, I'll give a small example, like Mission uh, 24. For some reason, when I modified uh, any of the, any certain specific thing, I'm not going to tell you the specific thing, because then you'll know. But modifying Mission 24 really didn't like it. But I did, do, I did still change a, a thing or two, I'm not... Didn't leave it completely bare, and only mission 3 and 8 are unmodified. But, I, t I don't know what was going on with that mission. But you may also notice one thing I forgot to mention earlier. I forgot to make a bulletin for it, and I'm not going to do this video again, because I'm kind of lazy today. But, one thing you may notice is that unlike Caster's mod, the music and voices work in my mod. 
I don't know why. <laughs> I Well, actually, I kind of do know why, but... I don't really have the logistics to explain it. The only thing I can say is that instead of using Ultra ISO to open up the game and whip out the files for the maps and then put them back in, I just directly edited from the game file itself. So, yeah. For some reason that works and the music stayed okay, but if it does, I might still recommend you to turn the audio off because I don't know. If that will crash, I have done a few playthrough tests for myself, so and it's never crashed. But just as a heads up, I don't know if that will cause a crash or anything. And let me know if anything does crash, because I I might be able to change something back and fix it in later updates if I need to. But yeah, that's really about it. I hope everybody can get some enjoyment out of this mod. Hopefully it's not too similar to the Caster's mod for people. I, Like I said, I was restricted to the same things, so... If it feels too close to Caster's mod, well, not much I could have done on it. And I also was not able to switch out any maps. But, that's it. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope you have a, a good day. Bye-bye, everybody.